Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in Python GUI development. Today we're going to start a little mini project which will run over a couple of tutorials. We're going to make a diary program which will allow us to basically write a diary in our GUI, in our window, and save it and also bring it back and display it um, in idle or in notepad as we would wish. Now we're also going to be learning how to make a drop down menu which is obviously very useful with making a GUI. Um, so that's the things we'll be doing today. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is import the TK into library, or TK into library, and we do that using the command shown as above from TK into import star. Next, we make a GUI object. Now you can call the GUI object whatever you like, as long as it's one word with no spaces. Um, I've chosen the word mGUI, for short for my GUI. Now if you do choose to change this, you can, but just make sure you change it everywhere else I've used it within the code. So for simplicity's sake, I suggest you stick with mGUI for today. Once we've made the mGUI object, we can then define the window size using the simple command uh, .geometry and setting the size of the window. We can then add a title, again, just by using the commands here. Next, now this is the code you've not seen before if you followed the other tutorials, we can make a menu bar object just by using the following code. We give it a name, I've called it menu bar, if it makes sense, equals menu, now be careful here, that has to be a capital M, and then in brackets what we've called the window, which in my case is mGUI. Next, we need to make a drop down list, and again we can do this by just going file menu one, I've just made the variable name for that equals menu and again notice the capitalize, capitalization of the M. We say we're going to put it on the menu bar and tear off equals zero as we just want it placed um, without being able to float just onto the drop down itself. And then we need to add a command. So this is when you actually click on the drop down it will say um, the commands in the drop down and I've got this for open and idle which is going to be one of the options for um, reading our back of our diary once we've created it. Next we can add the menu to the menu bar so we can just go menu bar dot add dot cascade and again give it a label so this is going to be the label for the actual part that appears on the menu bar itself not on the drop down so that's going to be file and again we're just saying menu equals file menu one referring back to this variable here. Finally we have to make it visible so it shows and with that to do that, we just go mgui.config menu equals menu bar, and that will make it visible. Finally, this is very similar to the code that we've done before in previous tutorials. We're just going to add a few things to the main window itself. So we're going to make a label, and we're going to put write your diary entry below, because we want obviously people to be able to write into our GUI for their diary. We're going to pack that straight onto the window. We're then going to make a text entry box, and I've just given a bit of depth here by going bd equals 5, width equals 80, and that will give it a slightly three-dimensional feel. Again, bd equals 5 is optional, but I just think it makes it look a little bit more professional. We pack that to the window, we make a submit button with the following code, and again, we pack that to the window, and finally, we set up the, um, the main loop. So, relatively straightforward, let's see what we've got. And here we have it. So you can see here, file, that's referring to this. So as I said in, earlier in the tutorial, that's the actual um, text which appears on the top part of the menu bar. And the open and idle, you can see that there, that's the label that comes in the drop down. Nothing will happen just yet because we haven't coded anything, although you know, obviously we can type here, click submit. But the functionality for this will cover it in our second tutorial. So, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and you've got this far. Again, if you've got some errors, just double check you've got the capitalizations in the right points because that trips up many people to begin with. Once you're done, move on to the next tutorial and I'll show you how to write the code to get this all working, to program up the buns here and to get this to save our diary. Well, thank you very much for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.